Hey everyone, Dana here. Um, I am taking some pictures right now for a quick infographic on washing your mohair cinch. Really cold outside, um, but while I had a bucket of water and a dirty cinch out, I wanted to hop on real quick um, and just do a short video. Excuse the messy hair, it's like 10 degrees here and I don't have gloves or a hat on. So um, like I said, making this really fast, but I'm gonna turn the camera around. Uh, this cinch is four years old, I think. We've never washed it. Um, I did already dip it in the water, but cinch care, mohair cinches are so easy to clean. Um, this is just a bucket of water. When you're cleaning your mohair cinch, you can leave all the felted in hair that acts as extra padding for your horse, which is awesome and makes it more comfortable. Um, and all you have to do, like I said, bucket of water, hold it by the buckles, dip it in and out. Um, so easy. If you have a breast collar, just take the leather pieces off um, and dip it. You really shouldn't have to clean these super duper often. If you have a leather keeper on it, ours are actually Velcro attached leather keeper, so you can rotate it, take the keeper off and dip it, but this is it. Dipping it in a bucket of water. Um, I don't even add shampoo or detergent or anything to mine. Can if you want to, don't have to. Um, and I can run it under the hose until the water runs clean as well. Um, but now this is just gonna hang up out of direct sunlight to dry or it can lay flat to dry. So um, yeah, quick video on washing your mohair cinch. It's, it's starting to freeze already because it's so cold here. Hi, Lisa. Um, <laughs> actually, I should turn around. You can kind of start to see little crystals forming. Ah! So chilly. So like I said, you really shouldn't have to wash your cinch super, super often. Um, hair that gets felted in, totally fine. You can carefully pick the burrs out. You can also run a hard brush over it um, real quickly to, to loosen some of the dirt and grime. But for the most part, 100% mohair, it is such a great fiber because it is so resistant to dirt. Cotton and rayon blends and stuff like that, and even wool uh, tend to attract dirt and don't want to let it go. 100% mohair does like to let um, dirt and sweat go if you have um, a little bit caked in there. So hope everybody had an awesome Christmas. Um, I'm going to sign off now because I can't feel my fingers. Okay, bye. And let us know if you have any questions.